supposed to get this shit started. It's been a minute. Welcome back. It's your boy Zell. Been about two weeks or whatever the fuck, but like I said before, man, I got a lot of shit going on in my life, so bear with me. I'm still going to be putting this shit out. I want to give my show a title. I would we'll call it just Zell or Z, but I'm leaning towards my old title that I had back when me and my cousin had a podcast. Not like the video shit. I'm talking about like the actual audio, like the podcast. Like, you know, you just earphones, you hear motherfuckers. And the title to that shit was called Get Right or Get Wrong. So I might, I'm, I'm leaning towards that. Yeah, you know, I, I like that. Get Right or Get Wrong. I'd like to see if somebody got that. Make sure I don't, the motherfuckers don't be telling me I'm taking a show idea or whatever the fuck, you know, that goofy shit. But welcome back, man. It's been a minute since I did this shit, but we're going to hop right into it. Today, I want to talk about the do's and don'ts at your job. Now, this is my personal shit. I'm not saying nobody else or what the, what you do or don't do. This all me. But I, I think my advice will help a lot of motherfuckers out. Let me tell you... I don't want to tell you the do's. I mean, that should be obvious. Do your fucking work. You know, do what the fuck your boss tell you to do. You know, show up to work. Show up on time. Oh, shit, excuse me. Now, let's talk about the don'ts. This is what motherfuckers get conflicted at with these don'ts. Fellas, try your hardest not to fuck your coworker. I've learned this lesson plenty of times. Not a, not not where I'm at right now, but when I used to work at motherfucking Arby's and when I worked at Walmart and another job, it never turns out good after you fuck a coworker because one minute they talking that good shit to you like, nah, I ain't gonna get my feelings and make it hot. That bitch is lying. Especially if you fuck her down. Yeah, bro, it's, go, it's gonna be an issue. She It's gonna be a problem. Like, I remember when I was a cashier at Arby's, and I'm simply just taking this bitch's order. The chick I'm fucking with in her feelings. So why the fuck was y'all talking so long? Bitch, I'm taking the bitch's order. What are you, what are you talking about? Like, is, am I going to get this shit every time I get a female customer and they checking the nigga out? That's when I had braids and shit. Niggas just call me B2K, little fears and shit, hair down here. So a nigga was getting bitches. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to braid a nigga hair. They want to be between their motherfucking legs. <laughs> But yeah, at the time, I, I was Mr. Bitches. Not anymore, because when I was younger, I was like these niggas out here nowadays, lying, bit, lying to bitches left and right just to fuck. When in reality, when I get older, I realized I didn't have to do that. They wanted to fuck with me because I was a cool nigga and I was funny. And I was attractive. They, they fucked with me. I didn't have to do all that extra shit. But just saying, now I'm not Mr. Bitches. I tell the truth a little bit too much. I think it's such thing as too much truth, to be honest with you. I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want to say. You just going to deal with it or you ain't. But, um, yeah, don't fuck with no coworker, man. Because, you know, I know a lot of niggas that are maniacs <laughs> from old jobs that was fucking chicks from first shift, second shift, third shift. It, it got to, to the point that they had to quit the fucking job because it was too much pressure on them. Especially if... You a uh, uh, a high ranking person like a manager or assistant, some shit like that. Don't 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 fuck it up, bro. Don't don't let your dick fuck your money up. Trust me, I know the temptations because you know, especially when I where I work at, it is every flavor of woman, sight, I mean not sight, height, weight, skin tone, you name it, it's there. And if you are gonna do it, just just don't. Do, Prepare not to move up, bro, because as soon as you fuck that chick, she has you by the balls. At this point, you got to let her get away with a lot of shit that she supposed to be not doing at work. But if you try to do your job, she's going to HR on your ass and tell them that y'all fucked. And y'all, you're not supposed to fuck her. Y'all have to be on the same tier. If y'all are level ones, y'all can fuck. If you a level, if she a level one and you a level three, you can't fuck her. You a level four, you can't fuck her. I'm telling y'all that now. If you don't believe me, go to where I work at. You're going to find out the hard way. Now, granted, a lot of these niggas are doing that. And I've seen a few niggas bite the dust off that shit. You know what I'm saying? I try to tell them niggas. I'm like, man, you got to stop fucking with that bitch. I can tell she a cornball. She, if you don't, you know, 
do some Simon Says shit that she don't say and you say no, she going to HR. Oh, for real, motherfucker? I can end it all right now. It's like, it's like fucking a co-worker is equivalent. Well, they kind of, they kind of in the same sense, but not really. All the damn dust. Um, in the same sense as you getting a bitch pregnant and you don't do what the fuck she, t- she tells you to do, she go to child support. It's the same shit at the job. If you don't let her get away with a lot of shit and when she asks you to jump, you better be asking how high. If she asks you to run, you better ask her how fast. If you don't do that, she's going to HR on you. Or she's going to tell everybody in the fucking building that if you got motherfuckers that hate on you or don't like you, that's ammunition for them to get your ass up out of there. So this is why I say don't fuck the coworker, especially if you if you if you a top nigga. But if you a regular nigga, go for it. I wouldn't do it because I'm telling you these bitches swear up and down they're not gonna catch no feelings. They catch feelings, especially if you're not giving them that weak shit. If you yeah, bitch, you know, you know shit like that. Oh yeah, you gonna you gonna fuck with her feelings a little bit. So unless you want to give her that weak nigga dick, I will say me personally, I would suggest you give her that weak shit, for she can leave you alone, not come back. Now granted. She might tell the other female, because you know females, they talk. Hey, 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 do shit, blah, blah, blah. But us, in our minds, still fuck, though. No. We don't give a fuck. If you say our dick was little, we came two minutes, whatever the fuck. Still fuck, though. No. So it don't matter to us. All that shit you saying, and sometimes you gonna get one of them hoes with the goofy friend, like, maybe he just fucked you bad. I'm gonna still see what it's hitting for. Now you got all these females around. Trust me, females do that shit, too, niggas. I, I don't see, I mean, y'all niggas do it, I don't. Like, there was a chick at my old job that everybody ran through. And everybody like, man, you ain't trying to get a shot of that? Man, what the fuck? That's like a glass of milk. And all y'all dipped y'all cookie in there. And they'd be like, man, you ain't trying to dip your cookie? Hell no, nigga. The fuck you mean? Y'all done double dipped in this shit, man? Hell no. I don't want to throw the milk away. You know what I'm saying? But females do that shit too. They head back though, they fucking friend. And just see what the, the dick hit and fall, I guess. That's what, that's what they call it. Fuck it, I'm fucking too. See what it's all, all about. Especially if the bitch going there bragging about your shit. You're going to have a problem in there, bro. Seriously. Like I said, if you're a tier one, go for it. I, I personally, I would suggest you don't. It ain't worth it. They're lying to you. If they say they're not going to catch no feelings, yes, they are. They're going to start acting different. Start following your ass places. Stupid ass text messages. Like, hold on. I thought we just, we, we both agreed that this was just a good time and a good fuck. You and your feelings like we a motherfucking couple. I'm like, I tell a nigga I told your ass nigga. You bitch, that bitch was gonna act like that. I don't give a fuck what race it is either. I'm gonna tell you that now too. Black, white, Hispanic, whatever the fuck. When you fuck these chicks for some reason, they feel like y'all are a couple. Or you owe them some money. So if you're ready to come out your pocket too, I know a lot of y'all niggas ain't nothing, nigga. I got it. Hey, these bitches will love you at work because all of them hoes. Well, not all of them. That's not fair to say that. But what I've seen and why I hear them talking. Yeah, these bitches really, they really in there selling that shit. Nigga want to talk to me, he got to give me his whole check. I'm like, damn, the whole check? Not 20%? No, the whole thing. Oh, you a whole ho. Okay, you a real ho. I, I can't get mad at her. She bought her business. You want to fuck her, she need your whole check. And ain't no telling that. It's probably a dumb nigga in there doing that shit, too. Oh, open shit in the camera. I don't want y'all thinking I'm on some other shit, because it ain't that... But um, what else is a don't at work? Mm. Stop getting drunk at the job. Even if you third shift, I was about to say, if you third shift, go for it, but don't do it, man. These motherfuckers are starting to tighten up on that shit because I feel like y'all niggas is doing this shit and y'all keep leaving fucking bread trails for these niggas. I'm coming in the door about to go fucking go in the building. It's a fucking Magnum rubber sitting right there in the bushes saying, what's up? Y'all ready to come to work? What's up? I'm, 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 I'm shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga just left me. You know, I was, I was in a car with him and the bitch, but you know, I just put me in my. He put me in his pocket. I was thinking he would throw me in the trash, but I'm on the ground just saying what's up to everybody. Hey, what's up? You ready to go to work? You, you ready to go to work? Nigga, the condom wrapper's right there. Then y'all do the same shit with the roach. When y'all niggas doing that shit, y'all just throw that bitch on the ground. Nigga, what the fuck are y'all doing? And y'all wonder why these niggas be cracking down the way that they be cracking down. Y'all making it hot. Stop this bullshit. You niggas is not spraying no motherfucking cologne, no Vizine, just fuck it. That's it. Y'all give no fucks at all. And it's like, you make it, you fucking it up for everybody. Because shit, on, on day shift, they be, they, don't let them niggas smell you. 
I smelt a few niggas, but you know, oh, let me shut the fuck up. Fuck that. I smelt a few niggas, but I feel like it wasn't really my, you know, I, I, I feel like if I'm a black vest, that's what I'm coming to holler at you. But me, I'm a process assistant. I ain't worried about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't smell that shit. That's all I'm going to tell the motherfucker, man. I ain't smell shit. Some people need that weed to work better. To be honest, some motherfuckers actually work better when they're hot. But I'm just saying, it's been a few times I smelt it, but I don't know who it was. I will tell you that much. I'm like, I don't know. Especially with where, where I work at, the line of work I'm at, like, it's like these big ass roll of people. Like, it could be this motherfucker right here, but you, but you smell it down there, so you make you go to that nigga, but it's really him. So I'm not about to give myself a headache trying to figure out who it is to go tell, yo, I smell weed. Who tell her? You know, tell him motherfucker. Like, I'm not on that. You know what I'm saying? So spray yourself, man. Put some fucking bazin in. Stop. Eat, eat some candy. If you if you drink it, put a cough drop in your mouth or what, whatever they say. It's another drinking remedy. I heard mustard work too. You know, mustard knock that smell out your mouth. Maybe it's because the overpower of the vinegar or whatever the fuck. Just stop making it hot, man. That's what I would say. Don't fucking drink and smoke at the job. Just don't. Don't go in there without having no sleep. You're going to be fucking grumpy. It's fuck. Like, I didn't see people just flip over the dumbest shit. Motherfucker just say, hey, can you go to, you know, Wall 35? I don't feel like going to Wall 35. Like, what the fuck wrong with you, man? I just, I ain't had no sleep last night. I'm like, hey, you ain't about to talk to me like that. We got to, motherfuckers get, got to understand. Some people don't give a fuck about your situations. That's a personal problem. That's another thing. Don't bring your personal problems to fucking work. Whatever happened at home, you leave that shit there. Whatever happened to you at work, don't bring that shit home. I'm vice versa with this shit. Just don't do it, man. Just chill out. Know how to clear your mind and all that shit. I had to master that shit, but I mastered that at a young age. You know, not, not recently. My life, 23, 24, something like that. I learned, you know, you got to separate your problems, man. You can't be eating dogging motherfuckers out because a bitch done pissed you off. Man, fuck this. Or fuck the world. How your day, man? Fuck you. That's how my day is. Don't talk to me, nigga. Damn, what I do? Man, you ain't did nothing, but nigga, I feel like you. Uh, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You like, <laughs> you gonna bring that energy with you? Like, you just don't do it. It's a lot of shit people just do not need to do at work, and they just be doing it. Don't trap at the job. Don't do that, cause motherfuckers talk too much. Cause come, I mean, if if you if you up there selling the weed or whatever, fuck you selling the coat, the bump, whatever you got going on, you know. Giving niggas the shit in the bathroom, niggas, you know, bumping up their nose right quick. And you know, we had a fire alarm last week because a motherfucker was smoking in the bathroom. Niggas are just too fucking brave nowadays. But there was no consequence. I don't know if they checked the camera or nothing like that. I didn't hear anything else, too more else about that situation. But I heard that's how the fire did start. It's fucking cocoa butter, man. God, you feel like I'm shiny as fuck. I'm trying to get rid of this damn thing. But, um,. It's like there's no consequences to, the, to for this shit that's going on in there, so motherfuckers just wilding the fuck out. I don't care. As long as it ain't affecting me personally, I don't care. But me, I will tell people, like, hands up, you need to chill the fuck out. Again, I told people about the recruitment door. About 20 people out there today. We get more help. No, somebody's getting fired. Stop fucking around in there. Don't If you, if you get labor track, do not disappear. That's another don't do. That's another don't. Don't disappear, man. If you get labor track for whatever task they ask you to do, do that. Because don't think they ain't going around to check and see if your ass still there. And if you're not, they it's this thing called the I stop. Or is it M stop? I think it's both of them. They stop your shit. That's how you develop TOT, time off task. That shit will get you fired. Time off task. Like, I mean, you just in this bitch thinking it's sweet. So don't, don't, don't do that. Don't get smart with these managers. Some of these managers are like me. We play the mm-hmm, okay game. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh, oh, really? Fuck me. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah, fuck you. Motherfucker. All right, have a nice day. Don't think you just cussed that motherfucker out and you ain't about to see consequences behind that. Cause especially if we, if we doing it personal. Well, you can fuck the weed and all that other shit, you know, coming up drinking. When you get personal with those managers, talk, call them a bitch, saying fuck you. Oh, no. they You you might not hear about it today. That That day. You might hear about it the next day though, or the next two days. Man, that was 48 hours ago. We don't give a fuck. Sign this paper. I ain't signing shit. Don't matter. Still going to your motherfucking folder. So watch how you talk to these managers, man. They not going for that shit. I don't understand what's up. People just like got this lawless 
attitude. Like they can just do whatever you can, you can do whatever you want outside of work, but when you're in a place of business and somewhere that's paying you, helping you pay your bills, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, damn, you go mind somebody, you gotta listen to somebody. I mean, I I, I know you hate to hear that shit. And, oh, I ain't listen to nobody. You need to become a business person. Get get your LLC, whatever fuck is all that shit. It, it do be your own boss because you working a job, you got somebody over you. For the most part, I don't have a problem with authority. None of them ever talk to me crazy or nothing like that. They ask me to do something. They use a please and thank you. I'm like, all right, it's, it's, it's going. I'm about to go handle that. What else is a don't do at work? Mm. Don't fuck two people in the same area. It's like you asking for trouble. You ask for trouble. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to give niggas, you know, advice on how to do it. If I was you, I would fuck a first shifter and a, a, and a third shifter. The chances of, of them bumping into each other are slim. Very slim. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to run into each other. But you got to watch out. You got Instagram and all this shit. Motherfuckers be hollering. Don't let no bitch tell about something. Let's take a selfie. Don't take no fucking selfie. You're getting posted. And you never know who the bitch is following. Same with y'all females. Y'all females can take this nigga advice. Y'all do it anyways. Y'all think y'all niggas. That's why y'all failing out here nowadays. Y'all think y'all niggas too much masculine energy trying to do nigga shit and you're just looking bad. You're, you're losing, ladies. You don't think you are, but you are. You look, you look like you went out because all this bald head whole music is all this shit and all this bullshit. Only fan. Trust me. Niggas are going to wake up. They're going to get tired of paying for that shit. They're going to get... I'm telling you. But, um, yeah. Don't, try not to, like, you know... Take no selfies with nobody that you don't got no business taking no selfie with. You know, and I, 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 it's fucked up to say this. I will say this shit too. Don't make friends at work. Just just don't. Like, go to work and do your thing. Just just go to work, man. Because then you motherfuckers need a ride because they think y'all cool. You think you can ride me over here? Don't want to give you no motherfucking gas money. Well, you going their way anyways. It's not the fucking point. It's the point that I didn't have to do this. You could have caught the bus. I think I talked about this shit before. It doesn't matter. You give somebody that's that little hot five for, you know, for they, they convenience. I can go straight home, but now I have to stop and take you home and bust a U-turn and go the way I was supposed to go. And did what I was supposed to do, but I'm doing you a fucking favor. And you think you don't got to give me no gas money? Yeah, all right. So try not to, you know, even become friends with people at work. I learned that lesson recently. Like, I thought people were my friends. They showed me different. So it is what it is. Fuck friends, to be honest with you. Like, most of the people I'm really cool with are outside of the city and the state. Some even the country. That's how real it is for me, man. I, I operate a, a lot different from these niggas. I'm not no friendly nigga. I'm, what's the word? Okay, I'm friendly, but I'm friendly, but I'm not friendly. You know what I'm saying? I talk to people. Hey, what's up? What's going on? I ain't antisocial. Let's put it like that. I'm not antisocial, but I'm not friendly. I'm not trying to be your fucking friend. I'm not trying to hear your life story. What you and your baby mama went through, or the drama that you got going on at the house, I don't care. You telling you telling you telling me some shit I really don't care about, and I'm gonna just sit you hit you with the oh word, oh for real, that's crazy. Word. I ain't listening to shit you saying, and if anything in the back of my mind, like this stupid motherfucker, like okay, this bitch done did this to you, did this, and you still with this hoe? What the fuck wrong with you? You did whatever she do to you, you deserve. But yeah, just just try not to make no friends, man. You know what I'm saying? And if it is, know a real friend. Motherfucker should know what a real friend is and a motherfucker that's using you. Okay? Because I'm telling you, these people I used to give rides to, they got a car, they didn't know me no more. Oh, I don't fuck with that nigga. Word? I'm giving you a ride home and shit. We talking about you telling me your life story and all that shit? You don't fuck with me, but if I could put your, your dirty laundry out there, oh, you a fuck nigga, but you say you don't fuck with me. I'm all this and I'm all that. Right? So yeah, I ain't gonna hold you up too much with this video, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna call this show "Get Right or Get Wrong." Like I said, I gotta Google it first, but that's 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 what we gonna roll with. So um, I'm still in the process of learning how to edit this shit. The fuck is that? I'm still in the process of learning this shit. I got off early today. I got BTO for people that don't, that don't know what that means. Voluntary time off I means they have no work for us to do, so we got sent home. Thankfully, I have PTO. PTO is personal time off. So I'm getting paid even though I'm not fucking there. So it works out. So um I might write some music today. I'm not sure. Cause I didn't bought I didn't bought so many beats, y'all. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm like, why the fuck am I buying these beats and I'm not using them? I gotta cut that shit out. So I think I'm gonna start 
you know, upload some of these beats and they some bangers too. <laughs> they some bangers. I can talk some shit on this shit. But um, I'm out, man. Y'all be safe. Stay dangerous. I will catch you on the next one. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm trying to do this shit the way I really want to do it. But like I said, the, the, the traffic and all the noise that be around this motherfucker is unreal. I got the heat. The heater is lit literally behind this fucking camera. Imagine if it came on. Uh, y'all see my old YouTube video. Y'all didn't heard that shit come on. But uh, <laughs> I'll catch y'all on the next one. Be easy. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friend. Tell your mama. Tell your dad. Tell your cousin. Tell everybody subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one.